thank you dr sumita and uh, aic for giving me this opportunity i think most of what i wanted to cover has been covered but i just present cases uh, i think we never get short of cases uh, so let us just discuss cases and what each one of us has done this is an ad girl as a lady who is an advocate she came to me that uh, no medical records of surgery diplopia and side gazes but not in the primary position she was twice operated outside she says first for the exotropia um she said she had exotropia and after the first surgery the i she said i went out more so again the surgeon explored and uh, that's how then she said uh, again i felt that nothing was done and this is what she presented with so she had uh, basically this is my orthoptic sheet and this she had basically uh, left exotro there was a exotropia with the hypotropia and uh, this hypotropia was increasing uh, so it was uh, it was same in in each gaze um the funny thing was that uh, she had a limitation of adduction in the right eye and a uh, limitation of uh, depression in the right eye i could not see any scar in the right eye but uh, she's and she categorically said that she was not operated in the right eye at all i could see only scars in the left eye so i said let's go inside and check that was my nasty maybe the nasty thing which i did <laughs> if, if i have to say nasty i said okay let's go in and explore i don't know anything what is happening so let's i said let's go to the left eye first uh, i don't have the video uh, but um, uh, we'll have to believe what i did uh, so left eye exploration done <laughs> so uh, i owe no adherence uh, no not touched uh, lateral rectus was already recessed 9 mm lot of fibrosis and uh, i said okay i'm not going to touch in again to the lateral rectus because it was already recessed and already lot of fibrosis medial rectus i could not even open up the conjunctiva it was could not make out what was done to it so i now i said oh god i have 50 prisms of exotropia i have to treat my hypotropia and i could not do anything in the left eye so and the patient is a lawyer no but she would not sue me at least <laughs> so yeah <laughs> no that was that i made very clear to her that you can't sue me at least i'm doing i'm trying to help you so i so i said okay let's leave the left eye i can't do anything so i went to the right eye and uh, i said okay the i did a right eye uh, inferior oblique anterior transposition that was the only thing which was left uh, with the right eye lateral rectus recession and a medial rectus plication because i thought even the medial rectus was resected some amount uh that's why maybe the small amount of adduction deficit and um, and so i did plication because i said okay that will give me a better result and she was much better so she could not sue me and she was very happy but not always it's like this uh, so this is another patient uh, operated by kali and referred as limitation of in movements both elevation and abduction and in ophthalmos of the left eye basically a uh, left um, exotropia was large angle exotropia 70 prisms uh, with a 40 left hypertropia uh, the um, measurements everything was fine because there was only seven left hypertropia left surgery and only a and an et of six prisms so nothing went wrong but the patient says i look very ugly like uh, my eyes looking small and um, i i want uh, my eye to look same so um, so um, and that was the only reason why it was referred to me said so okay you counsel because <laughs> otherwise i have done the right job there was they have corrected most of the hypotropia uh, hypertropia and i have done most of the exotropia correction the eye is straight with an exotropia of only 6 and left hypotropia of 7 uh, prisms so um went uh, so i said then she, this was her pre op pics which are sent to me so it was a clear cut case of 70 exotropia with a 40 l by r the surgical notes which was given to me was there were both eyes for a 70 three muscles done 9 and 6 uh, which was quite good enough and a left eye io recession done uh, because there was a um, 50 40 hyper in the left eye the uh, left eye io recession and a right eye ir, IR recession was also done so uh, altogether uh, six muscles uh, touched and uh, and I, and but the patient is not happy i suspected maybe it could be that i was not moving up at all uh, and there was a isotropia and a small hypo i said okay maybe it could be fat adherence syndrome which is caused by disruption of the orbital fat during inferior oblique muscle surgery the clinical features of fat adherence syndrome are progressive hypotropia of the affected eye limitation of elevation especially in abduction a very positive force duction test and upper lid retraction so all these i found the findings in this in this patient So I said, okay, let me go in and see. 
because the patient was not happy at all i said okay let me try to find out if there was an inferior oblique if there was an fat adherens syndrome i would try to release some uh, you know the adherens which is there or uh, and or operate on the inferior rectus of the left eye do a small amount of recession of the inferior rectus of the left eye because i was not moving up did an fdt of the medial rectus of the left eye and the lateral rectus uh, and this was what i planned okay uh, i'll go in do a small medial rectus because small amount of eso uh, and uh, i'll or i'll just botox on the medial rectus not go much and um, inferior rectus if it is tight i will just do a recession so this was what i had planned and this was what i got also uh but i did something else so, so because when i went in uh, inferior oblique there were uh, in fact uh, the inferior oblique was quite clean it was recessed uh, exactly at the place where it was supposed to be i don't know if this adherens could have been the cause of the limitation but this is a small adherens i don't know if um, anybody has actually uh, can comment on this if it has to be more this was very little adherens which i cut I means i don't even think it was causing the limitation uh so um uh, but the uh, other thing which i found was that uh, there was a medial rectus which had been uh, resected was uh, found to be uh, transposed full width downward near the inferior rectus so i'm not sure if this was the reason for this what i would like to discuss in this forum whether can this uh, shifting full width cause the limitation in elevation uh, of the patient because uh, this is what we found once and um, this is the the limitation so full width uh, the the medial rectus was transposed full width downwards near the inferior rectus so um, it was supposed to be resected and uh, so this was one thing so what i did, what so i changed my management and um, uh, did a left eye medial rectus recess because small small amount of esotropia and up shifted the i said i'll just shift the whole medial rectus upwards maybe that was a reason and then botoxed on the inferior rectus so i said i will not do a recession of the inferior rectus it's already too much so a botox on the inferior rectus not very good result still post operatively patient has not followed up i think she is not very happy with me also so i don't know if she will come to any of you now so uh, be prepared so um, this yeah all uh, any of you can she can come i'm most happy like you know <laughs> because uh, there is a small but i would like to discuss uh, what to do next uh, because she, um, there is a light eye scleral show uh, the inferior rectus recession has been done maybe that could be one factor which we could tackle later on or should i repeat the botox in the left eye inferior rectus uh, already we botoxed once now it is 4 months she has not come for follow up though i have been repeated i thought before the ios i could get a but i've not been uh, should not follow up so um, what i would say is um, my only advice i would say is that don't do too many muscles at one time i don't know if this is practical in our scenario in indian scenario uh, but i think we should stage and um, otherwise the surgery was practically very nice done for all the uh, for all what is required so i would say that maybe uh, do an inferior rectus advancement we'll have to do an adjustable because it's only six hypo um, so i don't uh, that could be one thing i just present the last case i don't know if i have time um this is uh, again a case uh, came with op already residual hypotropia uh, around 30 prisms of hypotropia operated for browns that's what the nose says there was chicken chucha done elsewhere and uh, there was a still a face turn to the right there was 10 exo uh, and uh, there was a hypotropia of around 30 prisms uh, in the so i said okay this is a clear cut so already chicken sucha has been done i'll just do an fdt of the superior oblique and plan i planned that i will go and do a right eye superior rectus and inferior rectus for the residual hypo in the right eye i will not touch the left eye but uh, intraoperatively i did the fdt and found that the superior oblique was still tight so i was tempted that i will not touch now the i'll go back to my superior oblique and see what it is and uh, superior oblique uh, when i when we explored um, it showed a nice chicken suture uh this chicken suture was there so um i don't know how how i mean i am seeing for the first time what are the effect of this it was there and i just cut it i just cut the superior oblique uh, did a total tenotomy but this must be how it looks the chicken suture after the surgery because it was lengthened and it was having the but uh the fdt showed that it was still tight so maybe one of the learnings is keep doing fdt even after you do a chicken suture i think don't um, uh, mean maybe you'll have to go back and do it again because if it's tight i think you should not leave it like that that one of the learnings and uh, i uh, had planned a left eye lateral rectus recess but i thought like there is an eso uh, there's an exo i'm doing a tenotomy maybe i'll get a 6 to 8 prisms ex, uh, eso because of my uh, superior oblique tenotomy and i did the right eye superior rectus recess for the hypo so, uh, 
so this is what i planned i did not touch the lateral rectus so post operatively i got a um, i got a negative fdt uh, for the superior oblique uh, so this is what i did and a right eye superior rectus recess only i did and did not touch superior oblique not me and i did not touch the lateral rectus then i felt so bad because after surgery the 10 exo was there and the parents were like you have still my exo left like they are not bother about the tight superior oblique or they are not bother about the hypo so they has they, have, they are saying that okay now this still the 10 exo is remaining and uh, it looks uh, there so i was like oh god the tenotomy has given me no effect uh, and for surprising i know the right eye dvd started coming in it was around eight prisms it was not seen before and uh, right eye showed dvd um so what i did was i just gave glasses the face turn had gone what my tenotomy i gave glasses which has hidden the uh, at least the exotropia and uh, so i have decided to leave there was a right eye manifesting dvd sometimes but uh, it is because with the glasses the dvd and the exo is not seen so i have left it alone but i don't know what next if so i'll go ahead and do the lateral rectus recess that's what my plan is so any comments any discussion because i've got more cases but i think i'll just leave it like that